Hello, everyone. My name is Wei Lun Li. My project is about speaker recognition system based on different models. At first, I'd like to introduce the speaker recognition system. Speaker recognition, a technology to determine the identity of a speaker through sound, is mainly sampled and judged for different sound sources. And although its difference is not as intuitive and visible as its appearance, it can achieve very many and practical, useful functions through technical means. Therefore, speaker recognition should be an important research direction. Vocal patterns can be recognized because each person or object that makes a sound has a different organs of articulation such as the mouth and the nasal cavity or shapes and structures and this intrinsic shape is yet difficult for us to distinguish and these organs are still constantly changing when they are articulate. Speech is a signal with a smooth and a good period in a relatively short time interval so we can determine these differences by recording the sound and analyzing the speech signals with the help of a computer to process them. The image on the right shows the voice point print of two different speakers uttering the same word. We can clearly see the difference between the two waves. A speaker recognition system, SRX, as a classical framework for pattern recognition, requires various targets to provide speech, and the features of this speech are extracted and the models are trained to form a model library when the test target needs to be verified. A new voice is also processed through the program as the test features and then the test feature is compared with the target model. If the similarity score is close or greater than expectation value, the voice source can be matched with the database. And if it is less than this value, the tester cannot be matched with the database. At this time, the tester will not pass the test. The performance of SRS depends on modeling and distinguishing speech. We will continue to explore some different design models. GMM is used as text and related voice recognition algorithm. It doesn't require recognizer to deliberate to say the specified utterance. GMM uses normal distribution curves to do accurate quantification, which divided the object to be processed into mining models based on Gaussian probability distribution. From the perspective of pattern recognition, GMM as a parametric model has a very strong characterization power on the actual data. However, from the opposite perspective, the larger the scale of GMM, the stronger its characterization power. But the parameter scales will also show an equal proportional expansion. Therefore, in the precise of practical application, we need more huge data to train GMM in order to obtain a more reliable model. MFCC one of the most common signal features used as a GMM in SRS. It takes into account the human auditory characteristics. The human ear usually acts as like a filter that retains only some specific frequency to the exclusion of others, which don't obey a linear relationship in the euro frequency domain but uh, approximately linear in the malfunction, malfunction frequency domain. In this long research path of speaker recognition, researchers have proposed a lot of improvement modeling to push the SRS forward. For GMM, it was found that its corpus was not sufficient to meet the actual demand. So GMM-UBM 
was proposed, which can be considered as an advanced version of GMI. Since the target user speech is difficult to obtain enough, we can take a different approach by collecting a large number of samples from places other than target user. The more, the better, and the programmatically mix these samples and obtain a GMM with a large number of known targets, which can act as a prior version for testing and give a more valid experimental result. And we can then load the target user data onto the GMM UBM and fine tune the parameters to achieve effective speaker recognition. Since there was China interference in GMM UBM and GFA has relatively tedious computation, I vector was explored. It is based on the GMM mean super vector. Through research and analysis, I in this case represent identity which indicates the, the actual mean, meaning of the I vector as a sign of a speaker's identity. Unlike traditional modeling, I vector replaces two spaces into one space, and this new generated space is called the total variability modeling. This space has a characteristic that distinguishes it from traditional modeling, and the speaker differences as well as inter-channel differences are included in this space. So the GMM mean super vector doesn't distinguish the effects when performing a vector modeling. This part is my main function, which is used to load and extract the features of each video files into MATLAB workspace. The remaining part is my code for modeling a vector and GMM UBM. Uh, we can set these parameters to select the tester. Uh, if we set it to one, and the tester will be AW, and we can run the code. You can see the correct tester is AW. Okay, we go to the I vector. We can also use this name to judge whether the speaker identified by I vector and GMM UBM. Let's run the code. You can see the the identified speaker is SS, and uh, we go to GMM UBM. Um, the GMM UBM identified speaker is AW. It is same as the the selected uh, tester. Since we have a total of nine testers, the specific result can be seen in this table. It is now difficult to find that the accuracy of I vector doesn't seem to be very high. Apart from some problems with the experimental code, there is also the fact that I vector gives up text differences because of its concepts. In this experiment, we have completed the application of GMM, GMM UBM, and a vector in speaker recognition system. And it is easy to find that the accuracy of I vector is lower than that of GMM UBM, because I vector discards the textual variability due to its introduction. In text-related recognition, the differences between the training and the speech to be recognized must not be too great. 
so the accuracy of I vector is reduced. However, this doesn't mean that GMIM UVM doesn't have any drawbacks. The most critical one is that GMIM UVM lacks the ability to curve with interference. Another main problem is that the parameters to be estimated when applying GMIM UVM are still very large, which is why scholars propose a more concise model like a vector. After decades of development, speakers' recognition systems are relatively mature in the field of pattern recognition but the accuracy of voice recognition still has much room for improvement compared to face recognition and image recognition. In the future, in the, future the main direction of the research may be in semi-supervised learning and NLP. The speaker recognition system may also have certain person personalization abilities such as the AI automatically optimize according to the context or the behavior of the speaker during the training process. Thank you.